that? Well, there's no windows to clean, but they are nice and sparkling. Ever wondered what was at the back of all of the illusion? Well, let me show you. Well, here we are. You can see I have speakers at the top behind the forward overhead. And there are the monitors. First officer, captain, and the left monitor. So let's have a walk around and, and see what the front looks like. Bit of a tight squeeze. But here's the back end of the simulator. And here's one of my Leo Bodner switches for all the wiring. This is the other end of the tiller. These power supplies provide 5 and 10 volts, 12 volts I should say, for all the system and there in the middle is the computer that's running everything. I have this little screen in front of the computer so when I'm doing night flying the light doesn't reflect onto my big projection screen here and destroy the illusion. I've got a lot of things plugged in, don't I? In case you're wondering, it takes about one kilowatt to run everything. Oh, this is the channel for the front window and then I covered the top again just to keep the light from straying out and destroying the illusion. So that's life behind. Well now that you've seen everything how about we take a flight? Shall we do that? Okay. See you in the flight deck. Well, now that we're ready, let me tell you where we are. We are at stand 438 and we're back at Madrid. We're at Barajas Adolfo Suarez Airport, right in the center of Madrid. And it was requested that we take a flight to Santander, which is LEXJ. Not too many miles north of us, but it seemed like a good idea. Now I have airport scenery for Madrid. I don't have any airport scenery for Santander. So we're just going to have to get whatever prepared 3D Lockheed Martin decides to give us for the airport. It'll be generic. But as long as you don't mind and can go along with the illusion, let's start.
first thing we do of course is we turn on the power and get some battery power going got 27 volts here and then let's turn on the fuel supply for the fuel pumps for the uh, auxiliary and then over here we'll go and Maraha, ground, world travel, one, 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 with Tango, ready to taxi, IFR. World travel, one, 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 taxi to and hold short of runway, three, six, left, via taxiway, Mike, six, Mike, seven, Mike, Alpha, Mike, Charlie, Romeo, five, Zulu, two, contact tower on, one, one, eight, point, nine, or seven, five, when ready. Taxi. Right, I've started the auxiliary power generator here, the power supply. It's located actually in the tail of the aircraft. We're watching the EGT rise and then it will slip back and stabilize once we have a stabilized position here. This light will turn blue and then we will switch the... Ah, there we go. Now, I've switched the main bus so that we're now running on electricity generated by the auxiliary power supply. Okay, good. And let's look up here. Yes, we have 115 volts. So we're doing all right. Now we'll turn on the rest. We'll turn on the galley so that we can brew up. Turn on the emergency exit lights. No smoking. Fasten seat belts. And let's push this. Maybe somebody will come and give me a cup of tea. Who knows? Here's the left and the right window heat. There are the probes, left and right. And there's the electrical pumps, one and two. Over here, we'll turn on the APU bleed so that there's some juice turning the compressors and then we'll turn on air conditioning for our passengers in the back and we will push the uh, position light into steady and everything looks like we're ready to go and ready to check now okay Right, first thing that we need to do is turn on the IRS and let's get our position, our GPS position. And then down here we'll put in our position and we are at uh, L E M D and we are at stand 438. So 438 and that is what it should be. Now the IRS is just connected so let's see whether or not we get the same from our GPS. And there it is. So we push this, that brings it into the memory, go back to the previous page push that and that enters it in and then our starting point is located. All right. Then we go to the route. There's our starting point. Now for PMDG this is the cheat. This is the cheat route. This is what we do. We push that, push that, push this and we have our route already loaded in. Makes it simple. Now we've put in the flight number and we are Ryanair, so that's RYR, and we're flight 186. And see, it goes into the temporary memory there, and then we put it up there, activate, push that, and it's done. Now we're all set to put in all of the information that we need to fly. First one we want to do is to put in a fix 
and that would be to E L E X J we want to have a four mile circle we want to have a 10 mile circle and a 30 mile circle four miles because that's when we drop the gear 10 miles because that's when we need to make sure that we are our speed and um, flaps are all ready and 30 miles because that is when we're able to contact the tower that's that's what Lockheed Martin have built into the simulator now the next thing we want to do is we need to put into the descent and the forecast and for that We need to listen to the weather forecast for our destination. Lima Echo X-ray Juliet Airport information. Charlie one zero three zero Zulu weather wind calm visibility one zero thousand sky condition view clouds at two thousand six hundred ceiling three thousand eight hundred broken temperature one five view point one zero Q N H one zero two three advice on initial contact you have information Charlie. Okay, so we've got that basic Lima. information. Now we'll put in the winds and speed for each of these flight levels. So it would be 19730. And we get this directly, of course, from the, fl uh, the flight briefing package. And one nine nine twenty. And execute. Now we'll go in and check on our departure. My suspicion is we'll be three six left because that's what everyone else has been leaving at. And we'll be on the RBO two north. There we go, RB02 North. That's our departure. That's the standard instrument departure for uh, our route. And then on the arrival, we're coming in on ILS Zulu 29. And BLV1S. Okay, BLV-1S, and we'll be transitioning a damper. Execute. Now we'll check and see whether or not our flight route works. Okay, we have a good plan. Now we need to put in the information and perform the initialization. There it is. So our total fuel is going to be, let's see, three, four, five. The reserves are 2.9.
cost index is 10. We are flying at flight level 240. So, 240 in here. And zero on that one because it's only 17 feet is the elevation of the runway. And it's 143 here. And it's one on that for our initial heading out. Okay. Right. We are now ready to start the engines and what we'll do today is we will do an engine start and a pushback at the same time which is the normal procedure. So, let's make sure everybody is seated. And we'll get our clearance from the tower. So, Barajas ground. We're going to depart north. Barajas ground, Ryanair 186, ready to taxi north, departure with whiskey. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 36 left, using taxiway X-ray, Romeo, Romeo 8, Zulu 4, contact tower on 118.975 when ready. Taxi to and hold short runway 36 left via taxiway X-ray, Romeo, Romeo 8, Zulu 4, Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance. We're going to go actually down that way and then in that direction in order to get to the end of the runway. So that means when we go backwards, we need to go back and have our tail pointed in the opposite direction. So let's see if we can do that. But first of all, a quick check. And we are on the button. There we go. Okay. Let's bring up the stairs and close the hatch. Turn off the cabin light. So, brake off. Air conditioning off. We will start engine number two first. Right, we're ready to do our pushback. Everybody's seated. It's all set. Air conditioning is off, so we've got full power. So we will push back. And here we go. And what we're going to look for is 24 on that figure. Here you can start to see the N1 spooling up, but when it gets to 24, then we will introduce the fuel, and then we want to look up here to make sure that we get 115 volts. There we go. And then we'll start the left engine. We've 
good. And then we'll introduce fuel to a fuel idle. And then we look up here to check that we have 150 volts. There's our engines. Right. We have a good hot start. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to push these two down as we transfer the electricity from the engines and that's what we're going to be using so we won't be using the APU anymore but we need to turn on the air conditioning and then we turn off the, uh, the APU bleed, turn off that and then one, two, three for the runway lights and we're ready now to taxi to the active. Right, getting ready to taxi now, so break off, apply a little power, and then here we go, and stay right on the yellow line. Pacifica 4 Niner with whiskey ready to taxi IFR. Pacifica 4 Niner taxi to and hold short of runway 36 left using taxiway India 1 2 Golf Alpha Tango Echo 5 Golf 5 Alpha Mike Charlie Romeo 5 Zulu 2 contact tower on 118.975 when ready. Taxi hold short runway 36 left using taxiway India 1 2 Golf Alpha Tango Echo 5 Golf 5 Alpha Mike Charlie Romeo 5 Zulu 2 Pacifica 4 Niner Now turn on the indicators so that we can turn right <laughs> Gotcha like we've got another aeroplane competing for our runway up ahead there. to the whole short line and tell the tower that we're ready.
Look left, look right, make sure everything is clear. Do a brief takeoff check. Got brakes to RTO. Flaps to flaps five. Orbit minor one zero six contact Madrid departure on one two seven point one. One two seven point one four orbit minor one zero six. Ryanair one eight six cleared for takeoff runway three six left. North departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway three six left. Ryanair one eight six. Right, brake on, engines continuous, TCAS on, start the clock, flaps check, gear check, RTO, alert the crew, right, brake takeoff check complete, brake off, Advance power to N1. We have positive power. Toga button push.
check that the passengers unbuckle their seat belts. Check on the gear, the flaps, board is clear, no flashing lights, always a good sign. Coming up on Robledio in a minute, it's the waypoint, and then we swing off more to the north. A little bit of cloud today, always good to see a little cloud, makes it more interesting. see if I can get a copper. Coming up on top of climb. Nine hundred feet to go. Nose is starting to pull down. coming back and now we're on course to Santander Nice day, nice day for it. We're expecting runway 29er coming into Santander. It has an ILS, so we will take the ILS and come straight in on the glide slope. Let's see how well we do. 
no one came with my tea, so I'll just have to drink my cola. Oh, you just can't get the staff anymore.
the engines are starting to spool back as we're approaching our top of descent. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting our descent into Santander. Here's our waypoint at Domingo, which is our last waypoint before we get to Bilbao. little bouncy. We have some turbulence. I'm going to leave the... I'm going to put the seatbelt sign on.
wind is calm at Santander, so let's plan on that. Passing through 18,000 feet.
this area there's a lot of mountains, so there's quite a bit of air turbulence, which is why you see all of these clouds. Plus, on the other side is the coastline, and that's the Bay of Biscay. And it is notorious for sudden squalls and storms. Well, we're approaching Bilbao, the final fix before we start to turn in towards Santander Airport. Just see the coast between the clouds here. We're reducing our speed in order that uh, we don't buffet the aircraft too much and upset the uh, champasses of the people in the s sardine section. <laughs> Time to turn on our lights, make sure the navigation lights are still on. Tell the crew that we're getting ready to land and that they should be collecting all the glasses. away from the 30 mile line and that's about the time that we can contact the tower and get our landing clearance.
Cliff Tower and we'll request a full stop landing. Santander Tower, Ryanair 18631 miles east to land. Ryanair 186 Santander Tower, fly straight in, runway 2, Niner, altimeter 1024. Make straight in, runway 2, Niner, Ryanair 186. Right, we've been given straight in, so we will do just that. We'll be, the airport is over there, and we'll intercept the glide slope and come in that way. just picked up the VOR so we are locked on let's listen this is the Morse code for the uh, VOR at Santander there it is three dots a dash a dot and a dash STA On track. Right, we'll go to flaps one. Coming in on course. And in a moment we'll intercept the localizer. And lock on the localizer. Here we go. Now we're making our turn onto final. And go to flaps five. And lock on the approach. Checks out. Or 
auto brake set to three. Speed is holding steady. intercepting the glide slope. Yep, there's the glide slope. I see the runway directly ahead. Bring this down to Bit of turbulence here, yeah, so twenty five hundred. Hope everybody's strapped in. Crew, we're three minutes from landing. slope 10 miles and we'll put it on to flat 10 in about two more miles we should get our landing clearance Slope check, everything checks. All right, pre landing, let's engines continuous, auto brake on three. Runway straight ahead, instruments look good, glide slope holding steady. Ryanair 186 clear to land runway 2 Niner. Clear to land runway 2 Niner, Ryanair 186. There's our clearance. Put on all the lights, check and check on that. Landing positions please. Well, this is my first time coming into Santander. Hopefully I won't crash. One thousand. And gear down. Now let's check for three green lights. Three green lights.
the water. Still on the glide slope. Coming in, it's good. 200. way up here so we'll just have to turn on the runway. And Ryanair 186 exit runway with able. the APU, turn the engines into the off position. Ryanair 186, turn next taxiway. And we'll turn down here. Exit runway when able. Oh, the ATC is very anxious to get us off the runway. Ryanair 186, contact ground on 121.7. 121.74. Ryanair 186. Santander ground. Ryanair 186 request taxi to parking. Ryanair 186 taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway. Taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway. Ryanair 186. Well, we'll follow the the arrows to parking. Unfortunately, this is a generic Lockheed Martin airport since I don't have a specific airport scenery for this and it doesn't quite match the, uh, the charts. So we'll do the best we can.
brakes on, lights off. And engines off. Turn off the TCAS. All switches off. We landed and we didn't crash. Isn't that amazing? Well, the engines are spooling down, so... Stairs are down. Hatch is open, there it is. Right, let's and battery off, fuel pumps off. Shutdown complete. Welcome to Santander.